Hello, in this video I will show you how David Colombo found a way to steal 55 Tesla cars from around the world by exploiting insecure default configuration of Tesla made application and ignorance of Tesla car owners. Link to the original blog post is in the description. Before we start, we all know that Russia invaded Ukraine and Ukrainians need our help. That's why I am donating the income from BBRE Premium in March to Ukraine and charities like Polish Red Cross supporting people that fled the country. 100% of your subscription go there. I cover all the fees and the tax. I also put links to direct donations in the description. TeslaMate is a third-party data logger for your Tesla. It gives you information like location, charging status, analytics and many more. It's self-hosted. You need to deploy the code on your server using Docker. It's not an official Tesla application, so after the installation, TeslaMate will then save the API token in the database. This will allow it to pull data about your car from the official Tesla API. TeslaMate is exposed over port 4000. If you are using a public IP address, everyone could see there the position and status of your car. It's quite bad, but it becomes even worse. Because on port 3000, there is an exposed Grafana instance. It's an open source tool for visualizing data. TeslaMate downloads the information about your car from Tesla API, while Grafana visualizes it for you. It makes things like the history of your journeys or usual parking spots available to anyone who finds your IP address. This is a serious privacy breach, but it's not the worst case scenario because the attacker won't steal or control your car. For that, the attacker would need a Tesla API key, which is stored in the TeslaMate database. It would allow the attacker to not only control the air conditioning, lights or the radio, but also unlocking doors and windows. Although the API key is not enough to remotely control the accelerator or steer the car, the attacker could enable keyless driving, unlock the doors and drive away by himself. It's that much easier that he knows the precise location of the car. So leaking this token would be really, really bad. Data from your Tesla was stored in Postgres database. Grafana had access to this database to create visualizations. The Tesla API key was stored there as well, but obviously it was not a part of any visualization. You could use Grafana Explorer to write custom queries and get the key, but this required authentication to Grafana, and only the Tesla owner should have the password to access that. However, by default, Grafana is started with admin-admin credentials. Of course, the user should change it after the installation, but many don't bother doing it. In this particular case, it was possible to log in to Grafana with the default admin password. It allowed using Grafana Explorer to make a query to extract the Tesla API key. Then you were able to unlock the car and drive away with someone's Tesla. David found this bug when doing a security audit. After that, he also scanned the internet looking for other TeslaMate instances exposed with the default password. He found about 55 of them, which means 55 cars that could have been stolen. He coordinated the disclosures with Tesla car owners and revocation of the tokens with the Tesla security team. You can read the whole story on the blog. TeslaMate is not an official Tesla application, so this bug is not Elon Musk's fault. The responsibility for this vulnerability is on TeslaMate developers, who created the application with insecure defaults, as well as on Tesla car owners who exposed the application to the public internet and didn't change those default credentials. As for the fix, 
in Tesla made application, the Tesla API token is now encrypted in the database and Grafana doesn't have the password to decrypt it. Also, all dashboards and databases of TeslaMate are now unavailable without authentication. The fix was introduced in version 1.25.1. So watch out what you expose to the internet and always change default passwords. If you want to see a $12,000 SSRF in Grafana via a chain of free redirects, check out this video on your right. For now, thank you for watching and goodbye.